Hey y'all, today we're going to be going over a collection method called sweep netting. Sweep netting is primarily used when collecting insects and arthropods. When collecting these insects and arthropods, your primary goal is typically going to be getting pollinators. As you know, pollinators like flowers. When you look at your sweep net, there are going to be three components. You have your long handle, which when we use, we're going to have both hands placed on. Then we have a metal ring that goes all the way around, and then we have our net. There are several different types of sweep nets. We have a sweep net for grasses, we have a sweep net for aquatics, and then there's actually a mixed sweep net. But today we're just going to be going over a sweep net commonly used for grasses. As you can see, it's a big tube that's made out of, out of canvas. Um, it's a very soft fabric, so we have to be very careful to not be going through any woody species that could potentially tear it up, such as cedar, uh, twigs, as you can see to my right, or anything like greenbrier with thorns that could tear the fabric. If you look around me, there's a lot of tall grasses, and there are even some native flowers coming in right now, such as baby's breath and Texas verbena. These are all really good components for pollinator habitat here in early to mid-April. So I think we'll have a nice collection right now. Remember, whenever you're doing sweep netting in this kind of scenario, you need to be aware of the wildlife that is around you. Right now, we are in a prime area for snakes. So as such, I have snake boots on and I'm taking the necessary precautions to be safe against snakes. Whenever we do our sweep netting, as you may remember, we're going to hold on to our net by two points on the handle. When we're taking our steps, a single foot forward and planted on the ground is a single step. So if you end up taking your next step with the other foot, then that is two steps forward. When we take a single step forward, we are going to complete half of our figure eight pattern. So. When I place my left foot forward, I will be swinging across me diagonally towards my right. And if I lift up my right foot, I will swing across to my left to complete the figure eight pattern towards my left. So when you do it all together, it should look something like this. When we're doing our sweep netting, you should aim for the top of the grasses. If you get some of the seed heads, that's perfectly fine. That's not going to damage your sweep net. But as you may remember, we always need to be careful of our woody forbs. When you are done collecting, what you can do is you can kind of twist your sweep net so that you have a point like this where the rest of it is behind. So you'll see how it's very tight right here. Ideally, you would have a plastic bag, such as a large gallon Ziploc bag that you could then take and then push it through into the bag and kind of shake it out. Then you would quickly remove the net from the bag and seal your bag. If you are wanting to preserve those insects, you should have a couple of cotton balls soaked with isopropyl or a little bit of paper towel with some isopropyl alcohol in there. Then your next step would be then to place them into the freezer so that they would die so that you can then ID and preserve the insects.